So we are the 3rd of January 2023, um, it's more or less a quarter to 11 in the evening and I am in the center of Belgium, more or less. And um, at the moment it's awfully quiet here on the long wave band, as you might notice. Um, and the reason for this is that yesterday, on the 2nd of January, um, RTL France stopped transmitting um, on long wave from the site of the Byteweiler transmitter in Luxembourg. And with do by doing that, effectively, they are ending a history of 90 years of almost continuous broadcasting of French radio um, on the same frequency uh, from Luxembourg. And by doing that, we also lose the most powerful long wave transmitter here still left in Europe, even though it wasn't really broadcasting anymore on its maximum power for the past couple of years. But still, I do think that it's quite a significant event. And that's why I wanted to make this short video to quickly highlight a bit uh, this transmitter and the uh, significant history uh, behind it. Now the history of the Byteweiler transmitter is basically the same as the history of RTL or um, what was started as Radio Luxembourg um, and uh, towards the end of the 1920s the people that um, were would become the founders of Radio Luxembourg they had a let's say behind the scenes agreement with the guys from uh, Radio Paris and those people they wanted to create a, a big powerful French commercial radio station, something which was not allowed at that time by the French government. In France you could only have public radio stations in the 1920s. So they wanted to create a very powerful transmitter in Luxembourg to broadcast their station towards France. So and that, that's basically the origin story of uh, Radio Luxembourg, Radio RTL. Um, so they decided to create a, to build a new transmitter for this. And um, the story actually doesn't start in Byteweiler itself, but in Jungleinster, which is a community or a commune uh, quite close to Byteweiler, also in Luxembourg. And in that place in 1931, um, they started construction of the Jungleinster transmitter, which was ready for operation in January 1933. And on the 14th of January 1933, which is next week, exactly 90 years ago, the first transmissions took place on of Radio Luxembourg on the Jungleinster uh, transmitter. And at that time the transmitter had a power of 150 kilowatts, um, which was one of the most powerful transmitters in the world at that time. And this also led to the discovery of a new a particular phenomenon that was unknown until that point. Um, and this was a new type of uh, cross modulation which was uh, discovered. And they saw that Radio Luxembourg was such a strong radio station that it really started modulating the ionosphere um, above the transmitter. And if you then had another radio station whose transmissions would um, pass through that uh, modulated part of the ionosphere, then those transmissions would be modulated also with the uh, the signal which was coming from Radio Luxembourg. So if you would have your receiver tuned to that other station that you wanted to receive and the transmitter of Radio Luxembourg was on the path in a straight line towards the transmitter of that of the radio station that you actually wanted to receive, you would receive both stations at the same time even if they were on different frequencies because the signal that you wanted to receive was modulated uh, with the Radio Luxembourg signal because it was just so strong. Um, and this effect was then called the Luxembourg effect uh, because it was really the first time that this effect was noticed. In 1939, um, at the outbreak of the Second World War, um, obviously the transmissions of Radio Luxembourg stopped during the course of the war. And after the war, the transmitter was used um, for a while by the US Army um, before it was put back into service as a commercial um, yeah, radio station. And over time, the transmitter was upgraded from this 150 kilowatts to 250, 500, and, and in the end to 1000 kilowatts uh, by 1964. Now, in 1966, 
uh, Radio Luxembourg changed its name to RTL to um, reduce the connotation of the radio station with the country of Luxembourg because it was basically a French radio station. Um, and in 1972, a, a new transmitter was a new long wave transmitter was put in service in the um, commune of Beitweiler, as I said, close to Junglinster. And the Junglinster transmitter remained in operation as a backup, and the long wave transmission moved to uh, Beitweiler. And Beitweiler was the transmitter that we lost yesterday. Um, and this um, transmitter consists of three masts of each 290 uh, meters high. And by 1974, it was capable of an output of 2000 kilowatts, again, one of the most powerful uh, transmitters in the world. Now we all know that in the last decade or so, or decades, AM, um, yeah, listening to AM stations is re has really declined. And the, as a result, the operating costs for these types of transmitters is often too high. The, um, also the energy cost is way too high. So in, in 2020, uh, they already decided to reduce the output power to 750 kilowatts during the day and 375 kilowatts during the night uh, until yesterday when it was uh, shut down altogether. Now, RTL was the only station remaining on long wave that you could really uh, reliably receive here in Belgium in a, on a good quality, on a normal radio with a built-in antenna and without any external uh, antennas. And it was also one of the only ones still left here which matched with the writing on the dial, because as you see here, here you have really Luxembourg written on the dial because they have been using this frequency for almost 90 years. So the when the radio was made here, this radio was made in 1955, they were already there on uh, uh, 243 kilohertz and they were still there until yesterday. Now, if you want to hear what we still have left here on long wave, it's not a lot. See, I have the volume now on max and there is Basically nothing here. I hear something very faintly here, but that's, yeah, not considered a, a usable station. Then we have Droidwich, which is the BBC World Service. But yeah, it's quite far away. The Luxembourg transmitter is more or less 170 kilometers away from where I am. Um, the Droidwich transmitter is much farther and they are only transmitting at 500 kilowatts. So, I can receive them with a the built-in antenna, but yeah, you cannot really listen to it, eh? it's too distorted. And here, there is nothing left on the left side of the dial. On the right side here, we have Radio Algeria, um, which is, I think, 1600 kilometers away. So, it's quite impressive that we can still receive those. I think they will keep going for quite a while still um, they are transmitting at 1500 kilowatts so um, as long as they keep transmitting at this power we will still receive them um, Droidwich is already talking about they are already talking for a long time about shutting down so I expect them to also disappear in the coming years and that's basically it if we go a bit further to the right we have here the non-directional beacon of the airport of Brussels. And then that's basically it. All the way at the end of the dial you also have the non-directional beacon of the airport of Antwerp, but that one is really faint and you can almost not discern it. I can very faintly hear it, but with the microphone, yeah, you will probably not hear it. But that's it for long wave. Um, and honestly, on short wave and medium wave with a normal built-in antenna, it's way too distorted. So with RTL, we really lost the only listenable radio station on an AM band here in Belgium yesterday. So yeah, that's that. Um, it's again one step closer to all the AM bands going silent so if you love these types of antique radios, I'd say 
enjoy them while you still can receive some real broadcasts because we all know um, it won't last. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Est-ce qu'il était au châtelet Il voulait sauver le châtelet qui allait devenir un parquet Quand même. J'ai perdu son nom. Et qu'on entend oui, c'est un soulagement. On a compris oui, beaucoup de choses pendant le procès. Moi, j'ai reconnu sa voix déjà. Donc, euh, ça me conforte encore plus dans l'idée. Maintenant, je sais. Je, je sais qu'il est en prison. Je sais qu'il est en prison. C'est quand même long pour la station de longue station. C'est l'RTL qui a fait. De toute façon, n'importe quelle peine, ça ne peut pas changer. On veut juste... Included. Ouais, puis tu vois, c'est un petit truc, quoi. alors le poteau de Golovin, c'est toujours la même chose. Mais il n'y a pas de continuité. De...